Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be talking about a mosque that was burned down by Muhammad around year 630. There was a Hanif, a righteous person. A Hanif is a term used by Muslim to call a righteous person who was neither a Jew or Christian or a Muslim. His name was his name is Abu Amir Al Rahib. He was actually against Muhammad and wanted Muhammad to be expelled from Medina. With the help of some people who helped Muhammad in his wars and raids, who became dissatisfied, he declared his opposition against Prophet Muhammad. Abu Amir refused Muhammad's invitation to Islam and joined the people of Makkah to fight Muhammad in the Battle of Uhud. They then built a mosque called Masjid al-Dirar in Medina. It was built close to Masjid al-Quba. Al-Quba was the first mosque built by Muslims. According to Muslims, they asked Muhammad to pray in Masjid al-Dirar. But Muhammad didn't do it right away. Instead, he asked them to wait until he comes back from the Battle of Tabuk. And he then received divine inspiration that the mosque was anti-Islam. When he came back from the Battle of Tabuk, he sent his men to burn the mosque down. I will read the event as written down from a few sources. I will read two verses from Quran Surah 9 verse 107 And there are those who put up a mosque by the way of mischief and infidelity to disunite the believers and in preparation for one who warred against Allah and his messengers aforetime they will indeed swear that their intention is nothing but good but Allah declare that they are certainly liars surah 9 verse 110 the building they have founded will always be a source of doubt within their hearts until their hearts are cut to pieces god is all-knowing and wise these two verses were believed to be the divine inspiration to muhammad to kill the descendants So they burned down the mosque while people were in it. The people who built it told Muhammad that this mosque was built for the sick and needy, for rainy and cold nights. But that did not stop Muhammad from burning it down. Muhammad burned it down because he had heard rumors about how this mosque was anti-Islam and doing propaganda against Muhammad. Let me read from other sources from the Muslim scholar Ibn Kathir's commentary on this verse is as follows. When the messengers of Allah came back from Tabuk and was approximately one or two days away from al Madinah, Jibril came down to him with the news about Masjid at dirar and the disbelief and division between the believers who were in Masjid Kuba. That, therefore, the messengers of Allah sent people to Masjid at dirar to bring it down before he reached al Madinah. Ali ibn Abi Talha reported that Ibn Abbas said about this ayah, Surah 9, verse 107. There, there are some people of Ansar to whom Abu Amir said, Build a masjid, a mosque, and prepare whatever you can of power and weapons. For I am headed towards Caesar, emperor of Rome, to bring Roman soldiers with whom I will expel Muhammad and his companions. 
when they built their masjid, they went to the prophet and said to him, We finished building our masjid and we would like you to pray in it and invoke Allah for us for his blessing. And this event is also mentioned by Muslim jurist at Tabari as follows. The messenger of God proceeded until he halted in Duawan, a town an hour, an hour daytime journey from Medina. The people who had built the mosque of descent, Masjid al Dirar, had come to him while he was pre preparing for Tabuk, saying, O messenger of God, we have built a mosque for the sick and needy, and for rainy and cold nights, and we would like you to visit us and pray for us in it. The prophet said that he was on the verge of traveling, and he was preoccupied, or words to that effect. And that when he returned, God willing, he would come to them and pray for them in it. When he stopped in Duawan, news of the mosque came to him, and he summoned Malik bin al Duksum, a brother of Banu Salim bin Auf, and Manib Adi, or his brother Asim bin Adi, brother of Banu al Ajilan, and said, Go to this mosque whose owners are unjust people and destroy and burn it. They went out briskly until he came to Banu Salim bin Auf, who said and said, Wait for me until I bring fire from my people. He went to his kinsfolk and took a palm branch and lighted it. Then both of them ran until they entered the mosque its people inside set the fire to it and destroy it, and the people disperse. Concerning of this, it was revealed in the Quran. So, from their own sources, Muhammad burned a mosque that he heard was the opponent of him. This is the opposite of what Jesus did when he when he heard rumor. This is what the opposite the opposite of what Jesus did and told his disciple when they see someone who was not one of them cast out the demon in Jesus' name. Let's read Mark nine, verse thirty eight to thirty nine. Teacher, said John, we saw someone driving out demons in your name and we told him to stop because he was not one of us. Do not stop him, Jesus said, for no one who does a miracle in my name can in the next moment say anything bad about me. Another comment from comment from Jesus that every Christian should follow is from Matthew 5 verse 44 to 45 I will read two verses to make it a little more clear but I tell you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be the children of your father in heaven he causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. A totally different message from Jesus. They react, Jesus and Muhammad reacted um, very differently to something similar, you know. And this after we read from islamic sources and bible 
we can see a ver a two very different characters. The question is, which one do you want to follow? That's all from me. For those who follow Jesus, God bless you. And for those who don't follow Jesus, God bless you. And have a nice life.